Hey guys, welcome back to Automation Elan. This is Suresh Dubey, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to create a new folder on GitHub. In my previous video, we understood how to create a new file directly on GitHub. There, we understood how to create a new file, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to create a new folder. These two things are different. The steps to create a file and steps to create a folder on GitHub are different and that is the reason I am covering it in a separate video. So in this video, let's see how we can create a new folder directly on GitHub. This is going to be a bit tricky because by default, we don't have any option to create a folder as such on GitHub. So here is the scenario. The scenario is you want to create a new file under new folder. So first you need to create a new folder and then you need to create a new file there, right? So first we have to figure out how to create a new folder and this is the topic for this video. So these are the two steps that we have to cover. We will create new folder on GitHub and we will create a new file under that newly created folder. To understand this, I am logged in into github.com. So taking a reference from my previous video where we understood how to create a new file on GitHub. So we know that here we have an option to add a file and under this we have a create a new file and upload files. So all the options are related to files only. Here we can create new file or we can upload few files. But we don't have any option as such to create a folder directly. So it means straightforward we cannot create a folder here on GitHub. So here what we need to do is again we have to follow the same steps here. So the option that we need to choose here is create a new file. So this is the same editor which we got last time also when we were creating a new file. For example if you want to create one file over here directly then I can give some name and extension and I can create file with this name but here my aim is to create a folder first and then inside that folder we will create a new file. So here what we need to do is let's say I want to create one folder called count. So I need to give here count. So this is the name of my folder. Here we will not give any extension because folder doesn't have any extension. And after giving folder name, you need to press forward slash. So as soon as I press forward slash, count is now treated as a folder. First give a folder name and then type forward slash, which will create a new folder like count. So here count is a folder. It's not treated as a file. So under git reset repository, I will have one folder called count and under count again, I can have a another folder or I can create directly file. Let's say I want to add one file called sample.txt. So now the sample.txt will be under count and uh, give some content here like this. And uh, as mentioned in the previous video also, we have a couple of options and settings here related to this editor. So we can add our content. We can preview this here also. And here we need to give a commit message because we are making some changes to the existing project. One important thing that we need to understand here is that you must need to create a file over here because we cannot create an empty folder. So if you just want to create a folder called count and don't want to have any file inside it, then that's not a possible. You cannot create empty folder. If you are creating a folder, then it should have at least one file. And that is the reason we need to create that file and all your content will be the part of file only, right? So if you want to add any content, then it will be file only. Let it be any extension and that file can be directly under the root project or it can be under some folder. So in this case, I am having sample.txt under count folder. So this is the important concept that we need to understand. We cannot have empty folder created over here. And here give a commit message. Again, like add a new file, something like this and commit directly to the master branch. 
so this is the branch that we have selected here we can see i'm working with master branch and click on this button and here we can verify we have count folder created under git reset project and under count we have sample.txt so let's go to root of the project and here you can see count is treated as a folder which was added 35 seconds ago and inside this count we have sample.txt which is file and it has all your content that you have added that was the scenario first we created a new folder and then inside that new folder we created a new file and we achieved that successfully that's all for this video guys let me know if you have any questions or doubts and please subscribe to the channel to learn many other concepts and topics thank you for running this one thank you